This week finds the Canada in the Rough crew in cottage country hunting boreal forest black bears. The Muskoka region of Ontario may be best known as a year-round vacation destination, but this 2,500 square miles of towering pines and sparkling lakes is also home to some phenomenal black bear hunting. With the cancellation of a spring bear hunt in Ontario, the province has seen a significant increase in bear numbers and activity. And in this region in particular, bears are now becoming a major problem for many cottagers. Brent McRoberts and his neighbors are some of those cottagers, and they have invited the Canada in the Rough crew up to take part in a great bear hunting adventure. During the fall hunt, bears are fattening up for the winter months ahead, and that means bears have one thing on their mind, food. Because this area is close to cottages and roadways, Keith and Kevin Beasley have chosen to use archery equipment and shotguns for hunting these big bruins. Today, Kevin will be heading out with his compound bow on a private property where the owner has been experiencing major bear problems. Keith will be carrying his shotgun and hunting out of a ground blind in a transition area between two swamps. Today, we will also be speaking with Susan Purvis from the MNR Bearwise program and Constable Skeeter Kruger to learn more about black bear behavior in this area. Join us today for two great Central Ontario black bear hunts in cottage country. Well, uh, the police involvement with bear calls in Muskoka this year have been really fallen into two categories. One is nuisance bear calls, and the second has been motor vehicle collisions involving bears. 85 bear nuisance calls compared to a half a dozen moose nuisance calls. The motor vehicle collisions are five, three in Bracebridge, two in Huntsville, compared to two moose MVCs. So the number of bears have increased which then increases the opportunity for calls for service, including motor vehicle collisions. The OPP does advocate and we encourage hunting, we encourage safe hunting practices, we encourage enjoying the outdoors. This is Muskoka and we want everybody to, to come back and, and enjoy themselves. We just encourage safety first and foremost of the people that are participating in the hunt, those around you, and again, respect for the lay of the land, which would include other wildlife as well as the bears. early September, we're in the Muskoka region. It's cottage country. We're hunting a private property where this gentleman's been having a lot of bear problems. Um, they've been getting into his dumpster, wrecking some of his property, so we're here trying to get one. We uh, set the tree stands up this morning with a trail camera down below us, trying to get a, a picture of the bear as he comes in as well. And uh, we poured a little bit of molasses out there to try to attract him, and uh, we're hoping that we're gonna get one, so we'll see how we do.
Nah. Yes. Good shot. Good shot. Hit him right in the front shoulder. He was covering his vitals, so I think I got enough penetration on it. Just heard him crash. Couldn't be more than 100 yards in there. Nice. Do you know what? We're losing a little bit of camera light, so we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to sit down for a little bit, and we'll uh, go into the truck. Get my brother Keith a call. Get him over here. See if he can give us a hand. Yes. Congratulations, Kevin. Thanks, Brad. I there really appreciate go. it. Way to go. That is fantastic. It was great. It was a great night. What happened? Came from behind me and uh, came right in. Tried to win me by doing a circle around me. Came to about 26 yards. Made a great shot. Blood trail was nice and easy. And uh, here he is. Let's, let's have a look. Let's go get this bear. Sounds great. Got a nice big hat on him. Nice muzzle. Beautiful bear. Look at the big paw on that. Nice big and mature Ontario black bear. Beautiful, full set of claws. Beautiful bear. Thanks, Brett, I really appreciate it. Congratulations, Kevin, my pleasure. Way to go. Thanks. Let's tag this bear and uh, Brett and I'll get the grizzly and let it do the rest of the work. Sounds good. While bears mainly feed on berries, seeds, and grasses, a bear will never turn down easy food, and that includes a freshly stocked cottage kitchen. So we sat down with Susan Purvis from Bearwise to talk about how cottagers can decrease their odds for human bear encounters. Really the, the push and the focus of the program, of the Bearwise program, is to educate people with a view to prevent bear-human conflicts. You know, bears rarely attack people, but it can happen, and it does happen, although very rarely. Uh, and we have to make people aware that they are in bear country and what to do when they do encounter a bear. What causes a, a human bear occurrence or conflict is all about food. You know, bears are following their stomachs, they are walking appetites, and they're looking for food, so it's always about food. So what I tell people is, when you see a bear, first stop for a second and enjoy the thrill of seeing a wild bear. And then the second thought should be, what did I do to attract this bear here? Are there bird feeders? Is my garbage accessible to the bear? What food has this bear come to get? Because it's all about food. If the bear is persistently trying to get into the kitchen, that's a bear we need to move on because he has gone beyond his fear of people and needs to be taken out into an area that is more wild, less people to encounter. We do set a, a live trap. It, it is a cantilever trap that is designed specifically so when a bear is in it, they can't injure themselves by getting claws or teeth stuck anywhere. I mean, we are in great bear habitat and it is great cottage and, you know, I live here. It's a great place to live. But the more we know about them, the more that we can understand them, the more we can enjoy them and, and keep this renewable resource for generations to come. Tonight we're hunting in the Muskoka area, beautiful area. Plenty of water, plenty of trees and swamps, and a real bear problem in this area. Bear people often don't mix very well, so we're here tonight for two reasons. One, to help out with the bear problem, and two, to fill a great fall bear hunt on a table fair that we absolutely love with our Canadian black bears. So we're thrilled to be here tonight. We're hunting a little bit of a swamp area. That's a pinch point between two swamps where the bears funnel down through. There's been a lot of sightings of bear through this woods. So we're actually using a slug gun here tonight, which is we're far enough away from the cottages that uh, there's plenty of time and room for this firearm. And it's a great choice often to take bears. Archery, modern firearm, great option. So tonight we're looking forward to a great fall bear hunt, early September. The bears are feeding heavily to get ready to den. And we're gonna try to capitalize on that tonight.
right into the sunset actually it's 6 6 15 and that big boar come in worked from our right to our left had a perfect broadside shot 45 yards oh, wow is my heart pounding that is an amazing animal and we're sitting in a ground blind here in Muskoka hunting black bears that's a close encounter let me tell you Happened. Got another bear. Nice. I got a big, beautiful bear. Nice. Man. Yeah. Right on. Thanks a lot, Brett. No problem. I just got on the blood trail. I haven't even found it yet. We're running out of light. Let's go track this guy down. Sounds great. All right. This is where the blood trail starts right here. So that's when I called you guys. I got on the good blood, heard him crash, but didn't want to make the blood track without you guys. I'd like to have you guys with me, and he shouldn't be far. So we'll just follow this trail. It looks like he leads right here. Yeah, there's some more. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That is good. Got some pretty more. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Right there, guys. Right nice. There. nice. Oh, congratulations, man. Yes. That's awesome. Brett, good thank job. you so much. Nice. Shoot. Thank you so Way much. Nice that shooting. is. Awesome. Oh, he, he, let's go see that. he is that not is a far. Nice bear. Look at that bear. He's fat. Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful bear. Oh, he's down. Just a big old Bruin. Just a nice mature boar. It's in good shape. Look at the paws too. Yeah. What yeah. A big thick coat too, eh? Big thick heavy coat. It's in good shape. Just a solid putting on the, the food for the fall and for the winter and just oh what a beautiful. And nice scar tan there, scar, yep. scar on his face. Just a beautiful bear. Brett, thanks a lot. Oh, Kevin welcome. and I just My had pleasure. one of the most amazing hunts. My pleasure. Two days in the Muskoka district and we harvest two amazing black bears what a what a privilege and an incredible hunt we we're just thrilled to be here with you this has been exceptional i had lots of fun if you enjoyed this video click on the subscribe button and check out our other hunting and wildlife videos right here thanks for watching and remember enjoy the greatness of canada and be proud of our hunting heritage